Hello my friends, this is Jamie and I'm here today so excited to share with you an unboxing of the Naked Heart Tarot and it's by Jillian C. Wild. Let's take a look at this box. Here's the information on the back. I'm so excited to uh, do an unboxing of this. I actually looked up some information on this tarot deck and I'm really just captured by the images for each of the cards. It's sort of done in a simple way, but I think the images are really effective. Okay, so let's finish taking a look at the box. Beautiful box, look at this box art, it's so cool. I love it, love the two wolves. I have a necklace that, um, has a moonstone in the center and it's a silver necklace and there's two wolf heads and sort of a dagger going through the, the moonstone. It's beautiful so it makes me think of this. Isn't this stunning? I love the heart just pops with that nice kind of red pink color there. Beautiful box. Unfortunately there's a little bit of a, a dent in the corner I got this on Amazon, and so I've been waiting and waiting for it to get here, and it finally arrived. So without further ado, let's go ahead and cut into this. Try to do this very carefully so that I can do it without damaging the box. I have not seen any videos on the cards themselves. I have seen the pictures online, but I haven't seen the actual videos. Wow. The Naked Heart Holds the Secrets of the Soul. Jillian C. Wild. Beautiful, nice, sturdy box. As I said, unfortunately, a little dent on mine, but it's okay. Let's see what's in the box itself. Trying to make this look nice for you. We have a beautiful ribbon to retrieve what looks to be a little booklet, which is actually really nice. Nicely made. Oh, I just love this. Okay, so inside, it takes a brave and beautiful soul to fly out of the darkness and into their light. Jillian Seawell, it's beautiful. Oh, nice. Have some information on the elements, how to work with this deck in particular. Nice, very nice. It's got some information on the minor and I'm sure major arcana. Very nice information. Wow, for each of the elements. Very, very cool. So this deck, uh, one of the things that really drew me to this deck is that it doesn't really follow Rider Waite Smith. And for those of you who have seen my other videos, a lot of my decks, most of my decks, uh, do follow the Rider Waite Smith kind of imagery formula for tarot. So this was really exciting. I wanted to just kind of go off on a different path just for a little while, because of course, you know, I do love Rider Waite Smith. Uh, but this is, it's, it's refreshing, it's something different. And it's something that I'm trying to sort of learn bit by bit. Okay, so we've taken a look at the booklet. Let's see what the cards look like. The inside of the box, and it looks like we have something in here. Maybe. Huh. Okay. Right. The inside. This is looks like some kind of a 
chart. The Nature Heart Grid was created with the intention to safely open the heart, build a secure and supported connection with the highest version of yourself, and support the flow of unconditional love through the sacred space that is you. Oh, very nice. They have suggested crystals. Very nice. Very nice. Beautiful, actually. All right. Well, that's interesting. I was not expecting that. Let's go ahead and put the book back in. And the chart, crystal chart. Let's go ahead and remove this because I'm so eager to see what the cards look like. Go ahead and put this here, and of course you guys know I want to keep this pretty. And wow. Okay, so filler card we do have. Of course, let's just take a look at the backing for this card appears to be reversible, beautiful, stunning geometric design here. That is just stunning, it's gorgeous. Some more information. All right. Oh, that's really sweet actually, very nice. take a close-up quick look at each of the cards first let me just say the card stock is excellent it reminds me very much of the card stock that is used for the unicorn tarot it's gorgeous uh, it's matte nice bend to it nice snap all right let's see we have the fool And I'm going to kind of go through these pretty quickly because I don't want this video to be too long. And we have the Magician. Kind of just show you up close really quickly. How different and how refreshing these are. We have the High Priestess. Love it. I actually really love the white background. Makes everything, all of the art, pop on these cards. Earth Mother. Wow. This is one of those decks that you definitely want to read the uh, booklet for. Sky Father. That is gorgeous. Love the colors, love the simple image but the drawing is so detailed. The sage. Wow. Lovers, how unique. The chariot. Wow, oh, that's so cool. Like a two-headed pegasus. Strength. The Hermit. How fitting. A turtle. So cool. Makes me think of the nether never ending story. And Wheel of Fortune. Sorry about the noise in the background, everyone. We're doing construction again in the city. Justice. Beautiful. The Hanged Man. It's a bat. So cool. I am so excited about this. I can't wait to use this deck because 
it's just, I, it already has a very different feel to it. So I'm really excited about it. This is nice. Death and the white rose. Temperance. A little bit of color that is used in these cards is very effective. It really jumps out, grabs your attention. The devil. The tower. Wow. Like a tree stump getting struck by lightning. That is gorgeous. The star. The sun, oh, that's so pretty. A black sun. Judgment. So as I mentioned before, I purchased this on Amazon. Um, it's $40, it's a little more expensive than most of my other tarot decks, but it's so different. The quality is so beautiful that I think it's it's worth it. If you can find it for that price or cheaper, I would definitely uh, snag it. So judgment, we have the universe. It's gorgeous. Love the bee. And the naked heart. Ace of Wands. Love the tiger. forever I thought I was a rabbit in the Chinese zodiac and it turns out that I'm actually the tiger. A little bit of an adjustment there. So two of wands. Beautiful. Three of wands. Four of wands. Love the sunflowers. of wands, six of wands, seven of wands, wow, eight of wands, love the use of animals. Everything feels so kind of primal. Ten of wands. Very fitting. All the wands stacked up on the camel's back. Innocence of wands. Nicely done. Movement of wands. Heart of Wands. Spirit of Wands. Ace of Cups. Ooh. The Sea Creatures. Ah, beautiful color. Two of Cups. They almost look like seahorses. Three of cups. Oh, they have little flower chains on their heads. Four of cups. Five of cups. Love the blue heart. Six of Cups, my unicorn. Seven 
of Cups. Some of the cards are a little sticky. Eight of Cups. I love that the images are half black and white, just ink drawings and then there's color. It really is effective. Really jumps out at you in Ten of Cups. Innocence of Cups. Movement of Cups. Heart of Cups. Spirit of Cups. Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. Three of Swords. Four of Swords. Like a horseshoe crab? No, no, no. Like a black cat, I think. Five of Swords. Sharks are my favorite. I love sharks. So cool. Six of Swords. Oh. Gorgeous color on that turtle. Seven of Swords. <laughs> the raccoon is sort of a little bandit. A little thief. Eight of Swords. Beautiful rose. All the thorns. Nine of Swords. Ten of Swords. Oh. Poor little rodent. Yeah, so I was thinking of doing another flip through on the Illuminati, uh, Tarot Illuminati. And actually, since this one arrived, I was so excited I wanted to do this one first. So. I will get to that uh, Tarot Illuminati very soon. Innocence of Swords. Movement of Swords. Heart of Swords. Look at how gorgeous that is. Spirit of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. That's a very smart image. Three of Pentacles. Representing that labor. Four of Pentacles. <laughs> Five of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. That is gorgeous. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. As you can see, the cards, the actual images, are they're very, very smart. They say exactly what that card, the essence of that card is. Uh, nine of Pentacles. Beautiful flamingo. 
Ten of Pentacles. Innocence of Pentacles. Movement of Pentacles. Oh, baby. It's grown up. Heart of Pentacles. And the Spirit of Pentacles. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing slash flip through of the Naked Heart Tarot. Again, it's by Jillian C. Wild. It is a beautiful deck. Um, I am pleasantly surprised. It's everything I'd hoped it would be and so much more. The images are gorgeous. The card stock is dreamy. It's just a beautiful, beautiful tarot deck. I highly recommend you picking this one up. If you ever come across it or if you can find it for a really good price on Amazon, snag it. It is totally worth it. It's beautiful, it's different, it's easy to understand based on the images. I say that the images are very, very true to the essence of each of the cards. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this and thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. Take care everyone.